hi guys welcome back to yet another video so so far we know the drill if you're new subscribe like and share and if you have already subscribed thank you so much so let's just go straight to the video uh, today I want to talk about plagiarism and grammar so how do you check which apps do you use to check if your work is plagiarized and if your grammar is okay so uh, let's start by what's plagiarism so uh, from Google it says plagiarism is presenting someone else's work or ideas as your own with or without their consent so if this video allows me I'll tackle both uh, I'll show you how to check plagiarism and grammar if it doesn't I will show you plagiarism on this video and on the next video I'll show you how to check your grammar okay so in academic writing I've told you a lot in uh, most of the videos I've done they don't allow plagiarism actually one of the main reasons why academic writing accounts are closed is if your work is plagiarized like you cannot present someone else's work and pretend it to be your own ideas so as I told you uh, in one of the earlier videos um, if you you you're given a question so you you go to google google scholar google books to check and uh, research so once you do your research you have to write uh, in your own words and also acknowledge the person who where you've gotten your research from so let's say you you've typed but your work kind of similar uh, looks like what the other person was talking about so there are apps we use uh, before you submit your work back to your employer let's say if you if you're if you're employed under someone uh, there are apps we use to check your work if it has similarities uh, from uh, Google documents Google scholars Google books so before you submit back to the, your employer or if you own account or if you own an account you check the work before you submit the paper back to the account owners okay so uh, let's start with uh, plagiarism so for plagiarism we usually use an app called turn it in t-u-r-n-i-n-i-t turn it in so i want to show you how to use turn it in to check your plagiarism before i start showing you how turn it in works let's start by defining what uh, Tanitin does. So what's the work of Tanitin? So Tanitin assists you to check the similarities of your work, the work that you've written with any other student paper, any other document online on Google, on Google Scholar, on Google Books. So as you can remember, I had told you that when you're doing your research, you come to Google, you come to Google Scholar, Google Books and do your research. You get your research from PDFs, documents that other people have done. And so you write it on your own words while also referencing these other people. So you might find that the work that you have written is, uh, is the same, uh, looks similar to the same uh, with the document that where you've gotten your work from, your references from. So uh, lecturers don't want you to have like a huge number of similarities between your work and from the documents where you have derived your work from. So uh, what they do, we have this app, this website called Tanitin, where you can put the work that you have written on your own there and check the percentage of similarities that you have from other, uh, from other documents online or other student uh, papers so uh, where do we start so you come to Google <clears throat> and then you search turn it in uh, login so you just come here you click on turn it in and then uh, after clicking on turn it in so this is the home page you have to log in so for turn it in I usually advise people to um, buy there are people who sell turn it in logins for students and for instructors it's cheap you can either buy per month or let's say you buy for five months let's say high season will be there for like five months so you buy for five months so you come here and uh, after you're given your logins you just type your logins so once you log in this is the home page okay this is the home page that you get of uh, 
paternity so as you can see we here you have your details your account details here you have all classes enroll into a class plagiarism citation so i know as a beginner you might wonder like what's this so tanitin is used even by students who are outside the students that you are working for also use this uh, this platform so the the their lecturers there uh, they might put up the classes that they have the assignments so you you are given a you are slot here to submit your assignment to check the the plagiarism percentage you have so that you can make your edits so uh let me start by showing you um how it works so i want us to go to what document get the document that we want to check on tanitin and then we come here and pay. so this is the document that we want to do uh we want to check on tanitin the similarities that are there uh from um, online documents from students papers just anything from books from pdfs so it's mla sample paper okay yeah uh so after confirming that that's the document we want to check you come here you will find like uh, you have to make sure that your status here is active of the class so once you buy you will get active classes so you just come here at uh, assignment you click on assignment after opening you get to see uh, the different uh, classes that are here so let's say once you buy an account like the person will give you like 50 or more slots for you where how you can you can upload your work on tanitin so for me i bought uh, an account with 50 slots but uh, the best thing is that um, even after checking one thing you can resubmit three times every 24 hours okay after the resubmission uh, after every 24 hours you can resubmit three times okay so this is a paper i checked just the other day and the similarity was 18 percent and i did my edits so uh what you are going to do we are come we will come to the second one i don't want to resubmit to that i want to introduce you to we start afresh so we start we click here on submit and then once you click on submit this is the page that comes because we want to submit the paper we want to check for plagiarism and similarities okay so uh the first name and the last name you can't change is what turn it in and uh, your login details but then the submission title you can change so for this one we can just write uh uh mla uh, you can just write anything you want to write like uh, paper check paper check okay so paper check and then you want to submit from this computer or dropbox or uh, so here is our mla sample paper and then you open so that's it that is it and you upload okay so once you upload you'll just wait for a few minutes as uh it it updates here so this is your paper it has updated here so you come down here and you click you confirm it's the paper that you want to check so after doing this we want to return to the assignment list so we can check the percentage of uh, similarities or plagiarism that our paper has so this is your paper as of now here it is you have confirmed so now you click here on return to assignment list so all i can tell you is uh please make sure that um follow try to follow try to do whatever is exactly as i'm doing you'll just get used to it it's not a hard thing to learn okay so as we can see here this is the paper that we have assigned today it was in assignment two and you can see we have a similarity of 29 percent oh my god this is crazy this is crazy a similarity of 29 percent your similarity should not even pass five percent okay and that is if it's five percent you can say it will be your references and your cover page or your titles but your body should not have any so let's click here and see and view the paper so you just give it a few minutes as it loads oh my god oh my god we have a long way to go <laughs> anyway guys so this is the paper <coughs> this is how my paper is similar to to any other document that Tanitin has detected uh it might be uh, another student paper but because something like mla we usually have the same uh referencing the same style so this name instructor course date 
<coughs> should not worry you even the surname should not worry you because this is uh, it has just detected there are other student papers that have the same uh, style that you are using so this one we can't change because it's the style of of MLA okay so how do you know that you have uh, plagiarism anything that is that is highlighted either with red that is red either with pink that is highlighted with uh, purple uh, and this one is blue what what but because this is the work cited this is the references page because you cannot edit or change the titles or the references this one you just leave it the way it is the work cited page you leave it the way it is you don't edit so we are here we need to go back and uh, redo our paper So what you do is that uh, you minimize your your document here, your word document here, and you also minimize your turn it in. So you can see which are the areas that I'm I'm supposed to to edit, and then you start editing them. Okay. So uh, for us, we are going to edit this first paragraph. This past first paragraph. We're also going to edit the second paragraph uh, until prostitution, and then. We are also going to edit some just some few few words here on the other paragraph so let's do that uh, after doing our edits we have made our edits now we want to resubmit that document on Tanitin so that we can check uh, the number of similarities that we have because we don't want to exploit our, our chances here we come here and click resubmit so you click OK And then you wait for it to load and here we are back to our where we were the first place so uh, we can resubmit it and just write it as a just write whatever you can even type just few words you, you're the one who, who are going to understand it so we choose from this computer and then we submit the document that we have edited and then you upload it then you just go through the same process we went through you wait for it to load here and then once it has loaded you confirm it is the paper you want to check and then you click confirm and then now that we have confirmed we have to return to the assignment list and see uh, our our percentage so let's wait for it for it to process so as, as it if it comes as processing here you have to keep on refreshing the page Refresh the page and wait for it to show you. So as of now, we have gone from 27%. Uh, we are now at 10%. But now we want to check and see if this 10% is something that we can edit. If it's the references and the name, instructor name, date, title, the MLA style uh, of referencing, we don't edit that. But now let's go and check which uh, this 10% represents what. So here is our document so as we can see here our 10 percent is uh, the instructor name as you can see our document here doesn't have any any uh, similarities it's just the work cited part here that we cannot change this is like it's given you cannot change because the lecturer needs to see the exact uh, place where you got your work from so they can go and research more if they want to and the other one is uh, just the title and uh, the name here but now because uh, let's say a lot of your, your uh, there are a lot of other students have done this paper before so this was their title literally uh, uh, literary analysis of gender and sexualism in in this book okay so uh, this one we cannot change because it's the literary analysis of gender and sexuality from uh, this person's book so yeah <clears throat> we are done so we have already checked our plagiarism now we are a hundred percent sure that our work doesn't have any other similar work from another person so now we are good we can now go ahead after we have checked our grammar we have checked everything we have done our styling it's perfect we can now return it back if you are a beginner you're working under someone you send it to the person who has given you the job or if you have your own account you can now submit your work without any worry 
okay so when uh, <clears throat> uh, the jobs are many you will find yourself you're sharing uh, your tanitin with another person one of your friends so if you're sharing your tanitin with someone once you submit your document here you need to make sure that you resub uh, you don't want your paper to just remain here on tanitin because you know other people can plagiarize your work so what you're going to do because you know once you submit your paper today the lecturer might come to view that paper let's say two or three weeks from today so once they put it on tanitin and someone has plagiarized your work today it will show that it is a hundred percent plagiarized work here so what you do is you click on resubmit and you put a document that is not related to any of your work you can just put even even if it's a, just a blank document you've written just um, things that don't even matter and not questions you are asked in academic writing uh, it can even be your let's say a vlog or a blog that you are writing or uh, something you got from the internet just create something and resubmit another paper so that if someone comes here and decides you know like right now you have left your paper here like this is a paper i did yesterday so if i come here and decide okay let me view and see which paper this <coughs> this person submitted so if they view my paper and they are like wait but i have i have an order i have a work and i should write about the same title so see let me just copy this one go and paste on my word document and uh, write it you know so all i say is once you you've finished everything you're okay with your papers you have to resubmit another document that is not related to your assignment to avoid other people accessing your work to avoid other people plagiarizing your work and uh yeah that's all i wanted to say about tanitin so as i already told you uh number one you can buy an a tanitin account i'm going to link facebook pages on my youtube channel here on my description box check there uh, there are people who sell you'll just get you'll just know them so from facebook you'll find there are a whatsapp group that people are asking you to join their whatsapp academic writing groups join those groups and you'll find people selling tanitin accounts uh even uh, if you're someone who sells these accounts both tanitin and grammarly and uh, you are watching my video also comment down below or go to my tiktok bahati empress comment on any of my videos and say that hey i'm here and i sell this so that i can show i can give my my fans and anyone who is interested in uh, learning about academic writing so i hope you've learned how tanitine works uh keep practicing uh go do your research and uh write the, the words on your own and then copy it to tanitine and get to know if you have any similarities so i told you on another video that they only uh, um, allow like two percent of plagiarized work and that's let's say that's it in the references or that cover page like the body of the your essays should literally come from your own mind from your own thoughts so thank you so much guys for watching thank you so much for listening uh, remember to comment remember to share with your friends and uh, I hope to see you on my next video we come and talk about Grammarly anyway goodbye